Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. So Aston Villa have finally, after months of waiting, have signed a decent striker. Oh my god, I got in from school, looked at my phone, looked at the, you know, the latest Villa things, and we just signed Lewis Graben. Um, as you could probably tell, my shirt's massive, because it's Grealish's shirt, as I'm sure most of you know, because my video's got over 2,000 views on it, so I'm sure most of you know. And yeah, we have signed Lewis Graben, and once again, because it's a Vin Aston Villa transfer, I'm going to be telling you information about this guy. So, his recent clubs were, right, he's been to absolutely loads of clubs. Uh, he started his career when he was actually 20. can't remember who he first played for. But he's had so much experience, and this is such a good signing. He's, uh, he's played recently for Bournemouth, Reading, Norwich, Sunderland. Uh, he play, he's played for lots and lots of teams, and... And all of those teams he's played for has been very, 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 very successful. Um, and I, I was hearing that Cardiff, <coughs> who are, uh, you know, promotion rivals, you could say. Oh, Cardiff wanted him, I knew that. But I did not think, for love nor money, Aston Villa would sign Lewis Graben. He is a forward. He can play what he can play, left wing, right wing or striker. He is... He, he he's most comfortable with striker and plays best at striker. As I'm sure most of you Villa fans probably know, because when we lost 3-1 to Reading last year, he scored two of the three goals. And when we played Sunder Sunderland earlier on in the season, when we won 2-1, he scored that for Sunderland. Uh, talking about Sunderland, he's played 12 games for Sunderland in a relegation battle and scored 12 goals which is pretty good, especially for a team that's in relegation. 12 goals in 20 games. For Reading, he scored 16 goals in 25 games, which is once again very good. He got Reading to the playoff finals last year, as I'm sure probably you already know. And now, since they've sold him, they've been in a relegation battle the uh, following season, so this season. And I would say Bournemouth, he's been his most successful career. Bournemouth, he is he scored he is he played thirty games in the Premiership and in the Championship. No, I, no, I think it's it was in the Premiership. He played thirty games for Bournemouth and scored twenty four goals in his first season in the Premiership. So he's had lots of experience. He is a goal scorer, as you can tell by those stats. And yeah, it's a really good signing from Villa. And what he looks to add to the team. <coughs> experience, pace on the ball, goals hopefully because Codge is injured and uh, Davis obviously is 17 so he needs more experience. Hogan's on fire at the minute but Hogan can't do it alone let's be honest. So yeah that will that will really help Hogan. This is a quick picture of Lewis Graben. Um, yeah hashtag welcome Lewis and yeah good luck Lewis. Um, yeah, I said we were talking about signing Ujoa at the start of the transfer season. Ujoa wanted to come to us, Lesser didn't want to sell him to us, so, but uh, he's practically, he, Ujoa is practically at Brighton now. He's that close, I think, if not, he's already gone. But that's a really good signing for him, for Ujoa. He's number 28. He's been 28 when he played for Norwich and he, <coughs> when he played for Sunderland. So a striker's number, which is uh, which is good. Yeah, I'm really proud of this signing from Aston Villa. He's, he's very tall. He's six foot two, six foot three, I think it was. And uh, we actually signed a decent striker. A lot of Villa fans were surprised by the signing, as I was, as you can tell. Um, he's a really good player. Um, he's played. He's, I said he's really experienced, but trust me, he is really experienced because uh, he's played in the Premiership and the Championship. He 
played for League One for a few games and then was sent out to the Championship. He's even played in the Spanish League, and but his career hasn't hasn't been the best there. But um, I would say the only problem is he's thirty years old, <coughs> and we just signed him for around about five ten million. I think it's somewhere in between there. So he's like he's. Quite, I'd say he's quite old. He's not that old, but for a striker, he's oldish. And um, yeah, and obviously for a reason, Steve Bruce has thought we need a striker, and it's true to be fair. Um, we have been lacking with, well, I say we've been lacking with goals. We haven't been lacking with goals, but it's like you'll have Yednak scoring one week, then Hogan, then Hogan, then Doma, then Terry, then. You know, it's not, there's no, like, with with Leeds last season, it was Chris Wood, Chris Wood, Chris Wood, Hernandez, Ruth, Chris Wood, Chris Wood, Chris Wood. Uh, with uh, Wolves this year, it's been Cavalero, Bonatini, 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 uh, Costa, Cavalero, you know. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's like that. So that hopefully he should, it should be, Grab and grab and grab and go and Hogan, 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 Yedinak, uh, Snodgrass, Snodgrass, Adoma, Adoma. You know, you see what I'm saying? You see what I mean? And it's it's really crucial we have signed him because, as you guys know, we are one point of second place, Derby. We should go up this season. I'm hoping, I pray that we are, because um, because yeah, so when uh promotion battle we we need all the experience we can get and i'm so happy we signed this signing thank you guys for watching that's it's quite thank you guys for watching thanks for the support recently my past i've made three videos it's been 1.2 thousand views 83 views 73 views 2.5 thousand views and I've gained, a th and in two nights, in two nights, I've gained, I think it was something stupid, like 27 subscribers, something like that. So thank you so much for the support. You guys are amazing. I've been AVFC Vlogger. You've been you. And thank you so much.